Hello, my name is Rui Zhipang. I'm working with Dr. Wenzhen Ho at the Ohio State University. My topic is fabrication of highly permeable PS substrates with bicontinuous structure for CO2 selective composite membrane. Here is the outline of my talk. I will give some introduction regarding the C-film composite membrane for which substrate resistance turns is critical. After that, we will move into the preparation of the PS substrate through vapor introduced phase separation. After that, we will use the newly prepared PS substrate for the preparation of the TFC membrane for CO2 and nitrogen separation. Here is the schematic diagram of the TFC membrane. We use no only fabric as the mechanical support. On the top of that, we put on the PS substrate. That is the main thing we will discuss today. Certainly, CO2 permeating through the substrate is mainly through Newton diffusion. On the top of that, we put on the amine containing selective layer for CO2 nitrogen separation. CO2 can directly passing through the selective layer. If happy right, there is a part down here in the substrate. However, as we know, the surface per density of the substrate is limited. In similar areas, after CO2 passing almost through the selective layer, there is no power underneath. For this situation, CO2 have to move in the selective layer to find a power to pass through. This is so-called lateral diffusion. Certainly, this will increase the mass transfer resistance. Because of the lateral diffusion and the Newton diffusion, substrate morphology has a significant effect on CO2 transport performance of the TFC membrane. VIPS typically use wood vapor to bring the homogeneous casting solution to phase separation. Typically, four morphologies could be obtained by VIPS, including symmetric cellular structure, asymmetric cellular structure, symmetric nodular structure, and symmetric bicontinuous structure. 2P uh, applied as a substrate for TLC membrane. Bicontinuous structure is preferred due to as well interconnected pearls, which offer little transport resistance. However, compared with the common cellular structure and nodular structure, the bicontinuous structure is more difficult to obtain. In this study, we prepared PS substrate with bicontinuous structure using a normal mixed solvent system comprising two pyrolidon and two methoxyacinol by a row-to-row -row casting machine. Here shows the continuous row-to-row -row casting machine we have in our lab. You can see no woven fabric is coming in this way and comes to the casting knife. After that, we will get into VIPS. In this enclosure, there, there is water vapor inside. And VIPS 
takes play here. After that, we immerse it into the liquid water bath to remove the solvent and no solvent in the substrate. Here shows the Hessen solubility parameter space. You can see AMP, the distance between AMP and PS is very close. That is the reason why AMP is the common solvent to dissolve PS. For the new solvent system, we introduced here 2PD and 2ME are farther away from PS, which means more difficult to dissolve it. However, if we mix those two, the mix of the solvent is much closer to PS, but still farther away from uh, than the distance between PS and uh, AMP. That means the solubility of the mixed solvent was improved by the addition of 2ME, but overall, the new solvent system showed a lower solubility compared with AMP. However, we have higher hydrophilicity. You can see compared with AMP, our mixed solvent is much closer to water. The higher hydrophilicity will make the solvent and no solvent exchange faster. That is one contribution. Another contribution, lower solubility in, in the new solvent system means the new solvent system can destabilize the thermal dynamic stability of the PS casting solution. That will be e easier for the phase separation uh, through the spinonal decomposition mechanism to create a much more open structure. This case is a by containers structure. Here we plot viscosity versus 2PD, uh, 2ME, 2PD with ratio. As we know, the hydro bonding between 2PD and PS will form through the ether linkage. When there is a strong hydrogen bonding, the viscosity will be high, very high. However, as we add 2ME, the hydro bonding uh, between 2PD and PS will be uh, competitively replaced by a more favorable hydro bonding between 2PD and 2ME. So the viscosity drops significantly. As we know, the lower viscosity will be easier for phase separation. Here shows the effects of 2PD 2ME uh, 2PD ratio on substrate surface morphology. When there is no 2ME, you can see the surface power is very small and very condensed. We we add a little more 2ME, the surface power starts to open up, but still very condensed. When the ratio gets up to one. Not too bad. We uh, the ratio gets to one point five. That is the best. Here you can see truly we have the bicontinuous container structure in the substrate. Here shows the effects of TPS concentration on 
substrate surface morphology, you can see 12% is very open by continuous structure, 14% also, 16% not as good with when the concentration get up to 18% even worse. Here shows the cross section of the bicontinuous structure. You can see this is very open, well interconnected structure and quite homogeneous. We do not see any this layer formation. Here shows the effect of 2P, 2ME 2PD ratio on CO2 permeance. When there is no 2ME, the CO2 permeance is very low, only 855 GPU. As the ratio increase at get up to 1.5, you can see this is very high. This get up to 151,000 GPU. Here shows the effect of PS concentration on CO2 permits. As we showed uh, earlier, with 12%, the surface morphology is much more open. So the CO2 permits is the highest. As, uh, as the concentration increase, the CO2 permits will decrease because the structure become tighter, but we still have more than 100,000 GPU, which is still not bad. Here shows the effect of water vapor exposure time. You can see um, 5.8 second exposure time was already long enough to obtain the bicontinuous structure. At even 13.5 seconds, still very good. That means our opening ridge is quite wide. As we try, but as we try as long as 27 seconds, Because exposed too much, the surface pore got grow bigger and bigger. Big pore, almost like a big hole formed. Here, truly big hole. The big hole will would be a defect. We do not want this. Here shows the effect of water bath temperature. You can see they are all very similar, all by continuous structure. Means water bath temperature has little effect. We, the cast film was exposed to water vapor the phase separation already took place. The water bath just removed the solvent and non solvent in the substrate and would not affect the morphology at all. Here we compare the new substrate prepared using the new solvent system and the baseline substrate prepared using the common solvent AMP. You can see the new the surface porosity of the new substrate is 19.9 percent versus uh, the baseline substrate looks much lower. The CO2 permeance of the new substrate 
uh, is 133,000 GPU. What is here the baseline substrate only 22,000 GPU, five times more permeable. By using the new substrate, we make the new composite membrane. The CO2 permeance of the new composite membrane is more, more than 900 GPU. Com compared with the composite membrane prepared on the baseline substrate, 14-8 GPU increase. The selectivity is quite similar, looks like slightly higher for with the new substrate. But we called about the same. Based on the newly prepared substrate using the new sewn system, we scale this up. We make 21 inch wide and 50 feet long scale up PS. The insert here is a surface morphology of the scale up substrate. You can see all the bicontinuous structure. We also mirror the CO2 permeance of the scale up substrate. It is also in the order of 133,000 GPU. We can scale this up very nicely. In summary, we have prepared a PS substrate with bicontinuous structure using new mixed solvent system comprising 2PD and 2ME. We obtain high surface porosity of 19.9%. We achieved a very high CO2 permeance of 133,000 GPU. We use the new substrate and we prepared the composite membrane. Membrane showed an increased CO2 permeance of 908 GPU. The, finally, the scale up feasibility of the new substrate were demonstrated. Our funding mainly comes from the Department of Energy. Also, funding comes from Ohio Developer Service Agency. That is all the slides I have. Thank you very much for your attention. I would be happy to answer any questions you may have.